Hey everybody, welcome back. Northern Lion, enter the gungeon. Still got a little bronchitis. Sorry, Jables. No, uh, antibodies today. Aww. That's not true. I, I forget how it works. We must have a lot of antibodies, right? Yes, I have a four-year degree in biology. Why do you ask? Um, so we got the Evolver, which works with irradiated lead. I mean, it's like, the Evolver is already insanely good. So maybe saying NL. I love Gungeon. What are we doing on today's episode, brother? Sell me. Sell me on Gungeon. Okay, hear me out, all right? We're gonna do something radical on today's episode. We're gonna... You son of a gun. We're gonna take damage on the first floor and Alt F4 immediately. Nah, we're gonna... We're gonna go to the Oubliette in all likelihood. Ooh. Keep going. I'm almost there. Oh! After we go to Oubliette, we're gonna purchase the Nod Key and attempt to go to the Rat Fight and get six keys on Punch-Out. Right? And, and we're gonna have a fun time doing so, okay? That's the most important thing. I'm enjoying the Zen nature of my current Gungeon experience. Allow me to leave the room, please. Thank you. I'm sure you don't need me to tell you. The Evolver is insanely good. Dude, I don't know. Lodestone is also very, very, very good. Um, and, I mean, so is Elder Blank, but Lodestone is... I mean, it really comes down to this, okay? Both Lodestone and Elder Blank give you a, a lot of defense. Elder Blank is more defense. Lodestone gives you more ammo. But I take Elder Blank all the friggin' time. That and Daruma, I mean, along with the rat uh, spacebar items, are, like, definitely my most used uh, options as far as spacebar items go. So I think we, we kind of, I mean, it's not even, like, a compromise. It's just literally doing things. No, 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 no. Slightly differently. And maybe you will discover that the real Elder Blank is the friends we made along the way. I'm doing pretty well, thank you for asking. Um, dude, we're spoiled for choice on this floor. Uh, I, obviously, like, I would like to open that, but I still want to go to the Oubliette, but we're not going to be able to buy keys because we're probably going to buy Lodestone or Elder Blank. So I think, uh, what I'm thinking right now is I want to fight the boss, but I do not want to fight the boss until we get Evolver maybe one level higher, although it might not be possible to be honest, uh, before the boss fight. Never mind, it literally happened as I was saying that. I mean, to be honest, if we could get it even one level higher, what? Dude, it's evolving so fast. It's like the Guillermo del Toro movie, uh, I forgot the name of it. It's a subway in uh, New York. There's aliens down. Well, not aliens, but monsters. But I mean, you know, in this case, what's the difference? What is that movie? It, I'm, I'm, I want to call it Tremors. It's not Tremors. It's not Species. No, it's not Captain America the Winter Soldier. Though that is, I mean, of course, a classic film as well in the annals of movie history. Easy fight, by the way, obviously. That's why I wanted the extra evolution before we got in there. I mean, this one is very, very good. Okay, so we're on 46 casings. We can now at least open this and hope it has a key inside of it. No key. I mean, this is like an unbelievably strong start. I'm sure... You don't need me to tell you. But compared to pretty much, I don't know, the last, like, six runs we've done, that's all I have a waking memory of, because my cognitive capacity is diminished today. I should apologize, by the way, but I, what I was going to say to finish that is, uh, out of the last six runs, this one has, uh, you know, the best, better than all the rest capabilities. However, what I was going to say is I apologize. I think a couple episodes didn't have audio. You're not gonna believe me. It just, like, there's literally no use case to stop a video from not having audio. The only way you can find out is by watching it back, which is fine, 
But once it's got no audio, which has no tell in advance of it, you're already screwed, if that makes sense. I'm not trying to make excuses, I'm just saying it's a... It's an issue that's hard to deal with, okay? So I, I think... Hold on. I hate grappling hook. Lodestone is 120! Are you great? Oh, well, alright. To be honest, uh, makes my decision a lot easier. I didn't realize it would be that expensive. We'll buy a key. We will open the golden chest. Yo, it's a passive, which is amazing. And... Uh, we will go shoot open this. We might be able... We're gonna go to the oubliette, by the way. Um, we might be able to open that uh, door, open the brown chest. There's a decent chance it would have a key inside of it, but I'm not willing to... I'm not willing to do it. I'm not willing to do it. The potential risk is way too high for the potential reward. So yesterday, you know, I, I, I felt pretty good. I streamed for the NLSS and, uh, you know, sneezed a lot, coughed a lot, sounded like garbage. I took the rest of the night off. Made another Mario Maker level. What I, I, you know, I do struggle sometimes with the inspiration for the Mario Maker levels. I'm definitely guilty of trying to dress it up. You know, so I, I wanted to make a level that was kind of inspired by uh, Dan's levels. You know, 20, 22 and 24 Yeet Street. It came out, and I was like, ah, the level's okay. The level's like a 5 out of 10. But an honest 5, not a, you know, like a, you know, like a 6th grade 5 out of 10, where you're like, oh, I really messed that up. I'm talking about a college 5 out of 10. Help. However... I made it into a 6. Because instead of calling it 25 Yeet Street, I called it the Trials of Dr. Yeet. Or what is it? The, the, the Case of Dr. Yeet Trial 25 or something like that. Just a little bit of extra care put into the ARG, and all of a sudden you got a decent thing going on. I know you're probably sick of hearing me say it, dude. Mario Maker. What a game. St I, I hate to say it, because I'm... I, I don't want to bite the hand that feeds, and in this case, it's not my hand. Or, it's not the hand that feeds me, but it's the hand that feeds Mario Maker, so I guess indirectly it does kind of feed me, but... Uh, I went to the Mario Maker subreddit, and... I, I, I go to the subreddits for games that I have been enjoying playing in my off time. You know, learn a little bit more, get a little bit more invested in the community, and... Uh, basically... 90% of the posts that I've seen on the Mario Maker subreddit are like dressed up essays salty that somebody booed their level. Now I don't want to, just by phrasing it the way I phrased it, you know, it, it sounds bad. It, it sounds callous of me to say. And I want to acknowledge like Mario Maker is I, me and Austin, and, and I mean anybody in our community that makes levels, uh, we have a huge advantage over the average Mario Maker creator, just because of the fact that we can easily get at least a few dozen, if not a few hundred people, to play our levels, just by virtue of the fact that we made them. And I, I don't want that to sound uh, braggadocious. It's not, I mean, it's just, you know, we, we have a community of people who are interested in, in what we make. Now, they're... There's no merits. Wow, that was terrible. Um, there's no merit to the idea that they should be interested in what we make uh, in Mario just because they like our streams or videos or whatever, but this is the way it goes, you know? We've got a little engine for discoverability. Whereas most people, when they make a level, you know, they might be able to get one or two people to play it, and then it kind of gets pushed into the queue on Endless where a single boo can, you know, end this man's whole career, you know what I mean? So I, I understand, but at the same time, I'm trying to reconcile the sympathy that I have for that, legitimately, with the fact that the majority of levels that I play in Endless are actually pretty bad. <laughs> Some, I, I call it out. Dude, I've become a much more positive influence in the Mario Maker community and in my Mario Maker stuff. And I want to thank the audience for that because it was their, I mean, pressure, honestly, that led me to that point. I used to be like, ah, I don't really like this level, boo it. Now I've realized, how would you feel, you know, if you spent three hours making a level and uh, it gets booed and then nobody ever sees it again because it gets pushed down in the discoverability queue. 
you'd feel pretty like you wasted your time, right? At the same time, I feel like most people whose levels get booed think that their level got booed because of the fact that people were like too lazy to come up with the solution. When in reality, a lot of the time it's because your level is, is not good. Or it has 10 boss fights in it. Or uh, at some point you have to pick a pipe that could kill you, etc, etc, etc. You know? Those, that's my philosophy on the subject. I still won't boo those levels. I will skip them. But I, you know, it's not for me to boo them. It's not for me in my ivory tower to come down and say, Oh, Mario Gamer 74, I hereby decree your levels shall be banished from Endless Forever. You know, that's, that's not my place. But you gotta, I mean, you see the same thing. It, it, honestly, it applies to maybe literally every field on planet Earth, you know? If you, uh, it, it happens in programming all the time. People think, you know, they write a program, they show it to you, and they get really excited. They're like, yo, check out how elegant this is, you know, normally you would accomplish this via X mechanism. I hand wrote my own Y mechanism to do it instead, isn't that amazing? And for you, you're like really proud of it, but other people, you know, you gotta... Normally, you got a little bit of an opinion debuff, if that makes sense. Because they they didn't make it. It's the same as, like, if you drew a picture. I think, you know, there is... Why, why did I even pick it up, dude? If you drew a picture, I do think there's an element of, like, ah, it actually sucks. Like, some people are like that, for sure. Um, but a lot of people are like, yo, check out my art. And you're like, it's okay. And they're like, it's okay? It's, yo, I didn't realize... You know, please be aware, this is the greatest piece of art that's ever been made on planet Earth right now. Okay, so here's my thinking. I'm just saying you gotta... Don't don't be offended by the opinions of outside observers, you know? They, they, that objective opinion is like your, uh... It's your best friend. It's honest. Well, I do prefer Cluster Mine. Uh... I think I am going to throw... Machine pistol and the boxing glove in here. And I might not understand the boxing glove. This does also oh I ah, hit my knee. Uh, this does also purge a curse for us. So I'm I'm happy with that. And dude, we got the the trident, which is actually fairly solid, I think. Um, I'm not gonna buy the scope. Instead, I will head downwards, and and we're in an amazing position. That's my two cents on this subject. You know. I don't mean this. It, it, it's hard. It it really is, cause you know, a lot of the Mario Maker levels that show up in Endless are kind of bad. You get into this almost like uh, I, I'm I'm trying to think of the exact verbiage I want to use here, which is why I'm struggling. I don't normally get to a loss for words too often, but I want to be very considerate in the way and deliberate in the way I approach this one. You get, it, it's very easy uh, to get to the point where you just get trapped in a cycle of, of worrying about how other people feel with respect to video game issues. As comical as that sounds. So you're like, how would you feel if somebody booed your level? Okay, well how would you feel if, uh, you know, a thousand people ended up playing a garbage level in Mario Maker Endless as a result of the fact that you didn't boo it, you know? From a utilitarian perspective, there's probably a case to be made on that one. Ah! Anyway. I mean, it doesn't matter. I don't know how I got on this. I, I, I have a, a bad habit of accidentally uh, granting very uh, inconsequential issues the illusion of gravitas. Feel free to use that turn of phrase uh, if, if you have your SAT or ACT English exam coming up. Probably not, right? It's freaking, like, the middle of July. <laughs> I don't know. You, you lose a sense of time when you... Well, I think you lose a sense of time when you enter the adult world. To some extent. You know, you're bounded by different things. When you're a kid, you know, September, December, June, or May, depending on when your uh, school lets out, you know? Those are the those are the times that define you, you know. It, there's there's real signposts there. 
Um, we might as well switch to this. Uh, switch to this. Thank you. As an adult, what do you got? I mean, you got like, you know... Definitely still December. Mostly, I mean, not just, you know, Christmas holidays if you celebrate those, but it's in the start of a new year, you know, in, in a week as well. Um, yo, golden casing. And actually, flash ray is totally fine. Ah! Uh, sorry, you have to do it. Uh, whoops. I thought we would detonate it. Um, then, like, apart from that, it's, you know, people's birthdays and, you know, when you choose to take time off for vacation, if you're lucky enough to get time off for vacation, and, you know, releases of Marvel Cinematic Films and the etc. and the etc. and the Paxes and the, and the, oh, Susie's uh, dentist appointment is this week, you know, you get the idea. You get, a, you get a little different set of priorities, shall we say. Which is natural. But I'm just telling you, I don't know when you take the SATs. That's that's the whole point of this bit, is I don't know when the SATs take place. Please give me ammunition. You did not, but that's okay. Uh, please do not yeet the gun into the stratosphere. I need it. I don't really, I don't dislike Crown of Guns, but I don't really like it, to be honest. And I think part of that is like a, a hangover from uh, Blobulin Rancher in the Daisuke runs, but I, I just, it's very frustrating to shoot and not hit enemies, but I guess if you're in the center of a room, it could be okay. Like, if you ever wonder why adults are, you know, so concerned with the weather, I think I've come up with a little theory. I think adults are so concerned with the weather, so occupied with it, because it gives them a sense of uh, a rhythm in their life. Hold on. Without taking damage, I'm ready. For 18 casings, this is the easiest money ever invented. You know, the only way an adult knows the difference between, you know... August and September. Well, that's... Uh, could I have picked two months that were not adjacent, perhaps? The only way an adult knows the difference between August and February is, you know, whether or not there's snow on the ground. Yo, combined rifle is also very good. And if you live in an area where it doesn't snow, well, you know, rain. Rains a lot, but... Really thought... Oh, wait a minute. No, I, I imagine things there. Yo, I appreciate the key. Okay, okay, okay. We need the Nod key. Um... I actually... I, I don't really think we need ammo. I, not enough to purchase it, at least. But I definitely do want to open this. Okay, that should be a second wingman, right? Yo, that seems awesome. This would be a gun. So I'm actually gonna make a little bit of an informed decision. Whoops. Uh, an informed decision. Don't take my junk, dude. That's my junk! Uh, I need that for the serpent. It's a totally normal sentence people say all the time. Let's try this room. It's not that we don't need ammo, it's just that I think we will get ammo. It also helps that for whatever reason, uh, we continue to get basically one amazing gun per floor. I meant to talk about it earlier, but to be honest, like, the wingman has been very good. Having a second wingman, that's a market improvement. Now, is it worth as much as, uh, you know, evolver or combined rifle? Maybe not, but at the same time, uh, we have all of that, so it's all nice, you know? It is weird. I think I talked about it. Maybe in an eyes. It might, might have been on stream, you know, but I'm recording an episode right now for, for a show that, you know, probably around 30,000 people will watch over the lifetime of its existence. That's a lot of people. But even still, we do have... Do we have some curse? Maybe we don't. Um, you know, when I, when I think about that... It's the rat room, by the way. I think, like, yeah, that's cool, but it's no big deal. When, like, 
I get a little notification when I'm playing the Switch that, uh, you know, hey, three players have played your Mario Maker level. It's the most incredible dopamine hit you could ever imagine. I don't know what it is. I guess it's it's partially just the, the novelty, you know. I've been doing YouTube for a long time, so, you know, you, you analyze it through a different set of criteria. You, really, you, you know, you contextualize. I mean, it really... How do, how do we get ammo back? How do we get our ammo back? Did we get a... We didn't get a pink ammo. I guess it just devolved because we didn't use it for a while. Um... Remember, don't use blanks here. If you get hit, you get hit. So, you know, you end up being like, you know, 30,000 views. Not great, not terrible, you know? That's right. I've been watching everybody's favorite feel-good show of 2019, Chernobyl. But when you have no concept of, like, you know, whether or not people are ever going to play your Mario Maker level, you're like, holy crap, dude. Four people liked my level? Isn't she lovely? Isn't she Dude, I told you combined rifle is set here. Like, we're. This is a, a very dominant performance. Mostly because we started with Evolver. It helped us out a lot. What the heck is Life Orb, dude? <laughs> life or Orb. I spelled life wrong two different ways there. Now it's a typo, but still. It fires purple lightning, which connects the player and the nearest enemy, deals damage consistently. A special icon appears above the player. Pressing the reload button performs a special attack that deals damage to every enemy in the room. What? I'm sorry. Uh, I only have a bachelor's degree. I'm not sure if I'm capable of understanding... What's happening here? So here's the way, <clears throat> to my understanding, that this works. When you kill an enemy, and then reload, the reload deals damage to all enemies on the room. Oh. Equivalent to the amount of damage you dealt to the last enemy. Okay. So basically, if you kill an enemy with the life orb, it deals damage equivalent to that enemy's HP to all enemies that are on this room. Uh, I doubt I'm wrong because, I mean, I, I, I think I understand it. This seems incredible. Let, let, let's put this to the test, okay? I know I maybe... Oh, we don't need Evolver Ammo. Okay, maybe maybe I do have it slightly wrong. Because it it did to me it felt like that should have done damage equal to that uh very very large enemy's HP. Maybe it was only the bottom phase though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we're talking. Okay. I understand. Sorry, I'm trying to, you know, these Gungeon ep <sighs> Episodes are, are long. My throat feels good, but I'm aware of the fact that in a bit, like later today, it might not feel good. So I'm trying to be a little bit less high energy. You know, I'm always starting these videos and I'm like, hey, everybody, welcome back. I sound like a freaking children's entertainer. That's the number one complaint. People are always like, why is NL's voice so high? But even, you know, I'm being facetious, of course, but even from that point, I'm trying to take it down a notch. I mean, we've had a lot of spacebar items. Potion of Lead Skin is, is just better, I think. Uh, I don't really care about a free item from Map Man that requires a key to purchase. Are we done? That was fast. Um, don't use a blank. It's not, it's not worth the blank. I will actually buy the key, though. And then, uh, let's... I mean, let's just head downwards here. I don't think we have the casings required to go to the shop anyway. Even if we are cursed. It's hard to take... Like, honestly... You might take this as braggadocious. It's really not. Um, like, I have trouble following my own advice when I'm sick. Because I get... 
I mean, I don't get bored, I guess. Like, I, I can entertain myself, but I just don't feel, like, aligned with my own personality if I haven't put in an honest day's work. And it, it sounds, uh, perhaps admirable. Wow, we got the rat out of that. Uh, but I, I actually sort of disagree. Like, like, let me put it into context, okay? This, I don't think we should be using Life Orb here. Here's, here's something that I wouldn't say I've been struggling with, but something that didn't work, okay. that I've been thinking on is maybe the best way to describe it. Um, I'm sick. Not ill, but just a little under the weather. So, you know, I've been working out for the past few months, of course. More enemies, please? Check this out. That felt pretty sweet. All right, I'm surprised. I mean, I don't know if we should be using this. Let's just put it that way. So, I feel guilty to some extent that I'm not going to the gym this week. Even though on a logical level, I obviously understand that I can't go to the gym this week. And might not be able to go until, you know, maybe like next Monday. Because I feel like I'm skipping. When in reality, it's not really skipping. It's like going would not only be uh, counterproductive, it would also just be like, ah, oh, crap, dude. I think we go right. So I should have, should have waited to do the an uh, the anecdote. I think we're right here. Then we go up and we fight the rat. It's something that, to be honest with you, I did not struggle with when I was younger. It's only once I've started, you know, doing this. Uh, and it, you might blame it on the platform, but I, I really do not think that's the case, to be honest. You know, I just, I think I've gotten myself such in the habit of, like, you know, doing these things that, that there's actually, like, genuine guilt over when you don't do them. But simultaneously, by skipping and allowing yourself a chance to recover, you're actually recovering... That was bad. As fast as possible. It's... I don't think it's hard to explain. I just think it's hard to demonstrate uh, why it's bothersome, if that makes sense. Because when you talk... Like... Uh, and I, I would say the same thing when I'm talking to like other people. I would be like, yeah, just rest, dummy. Like, why would you extend your own uh, recovery time by working when you don't... You know, you don't feel good by going to the gym when you don't feel good. But then when it comes to me, I'm like, you don't get it. I can't just sit on the couch and play Mario Maker all day. <laughs> I'm guilty of thinking I'm different there, maybe, to some extent. But at least I've, I've crossed the threshold I, where I no longer consider it uh, admirable to work too much. And it, it's been a long road. And probably will, will still be a long road with setbacks. Don't use, uh, don't use Potion of Gun Friendship here, okay? And by Gun Friendship, I mean Lead Skin. You know what attacks you need to use here. I mean, this is probably the least stressful, um, rat fight we've had in quite some time. Please just remember to stay focused. You know what you're looking for. Um, this is a Gun, uh, Lead Skin situation. You know what you're looking for. We gotta re-evaluate uh, our position here, and remember, help, trying to, good stuff, get six keys. So phase one, I think, is, is still the hardest. Body, where are we going? Where are we going? Nope. Okay. Next. Next. Give me more. No, 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 Okay, get him low. Send him. Okay, there's one third complete. That's a start. There's one. 
There's two. Come on, come on. Come on. There's three, okay. Now that's what I call confidence. Okay. So you're saying there's a chance. Give me something easier to counter, please. Okay. We got plenty of time. You you can give this one your all. There's a one. There's two. No! We were so close. Still got two. Okay. He's actually done it. There are those who said it could not be done. That was pretty close to a perfect fight. I, I'm actually kind of in shock a little bit. Like, not medical, psychological shock. But I'm like, oh my god, we did it. And on a, a run where I'm not feeling that well. <laughs> you can also tell this run is extremely good, by the way. Because of the fact that uh, I, we just got the heroin. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Big whoop, dude. So don't get me wrong. I would definitely understand if you thought we would never accomplish that based on, you know, having perhaps not had the most amazing performances recently. That's all very fair, I think. But uh, here we are, having accomplished it, without a doubt. So, I think we will not take the shortcut. I think the shortcut, I don't want to call it lazy, because I don't think that's true. I don't, you know, these are, these are long runs. However, I think that it does work against us to take the shortcut. So I think we'll just go, um, probably with, I mean, Life Orb has actually been awesome for us. I don't think I could, I did a good job of explaining myself, by the way. Earlier, I mean, I don't think I, I, you know, did such a bad job as to complicate my original discourse, but I, you know, I don't think I explained it elegantly in advance. Like, part of, uh, you know, the maturing process for me has been, like, realizing that, you know, the same... If I give advice to other people, is probably advice worth taking myself. If that makes sense. Now, I think that makes sense to just about everybody. If it's the right idea to slow down, it's the right idea to slow down. You know, and recognize... I mean, the, the gym is a very, like, kind of... It's a topic that doesn't even... It, it's... I just hate talking about it because people that don't care about fitness think that you're kind of like rubbing it in their face. You know, I'm conscious of that because I've been on both sides of it <laughs> over several decades. But, uh, well, not uh, two decades. But, regardless, you know, it's like taking the time off is actually the fastest way to actually like do things for yourself. It doesn't benefit you to, to work more than necessary when you're ill. If Kate's overhearing me from the other room, she's like, finally, he gets it. Now, getting it and putting it into practice are two different things, but we're, we're, we're getting close, I think. We're getting close. So, Life Orb has not been bad. I want that to be, I want that to be known. I want that to be clear. But we're very much spoiled for choice. No, 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 no. So, I will use Hegemony Rifle, uh, which is actually Combined Rifle. Because I actually think the damage from Combined Rifle look, is better. Now, as far as spacebar items go, you know, it, this happens all the time after uh, after the rat fight. I will probably stick to basically just the cheese. 
But we do have two invincibility granting items, you know, because we also have Potion of Lead Skin. So certainly, like, against the boss, whatever floor we happen to be on, uh, you know, it's going to be very warranted for sure. Now, I don't want to call this, but it, it is possible, albeit unlikely, that we could flawless all five bosses. And I, I don't believe in a jinx. I refuse to enable the superstition by saying, don't jinx it, you know? However, I hope I didn't just jinx it. The fourth floor, I mean, this is, if you're inviting a jinx, this is the real jinx right here. Um, the fourth floor boss should be fairly easy. It's almost unbelievable to me to flawless the advanced dragon. I don't know if we've ever done it. Phase one is, is honestly not that easy because of the serpent. If the serpent's not there, it's, it's fairly doable, obviously. Phase, uh, phase two. Unless we can literally just be invincible at all times, phase two is real touchy. So, what would I like to buy here? We're honestly probably good on keys. I think I could use ammo. There is ammo. Red, red bandana is actually the scarf. I was really hoping it would be a blue bandana. Well, I, obviously I saw right off the bat that it was you know, red, so that compromises that. Wait, we, we already have Evolver ammo, don't we? Don't, but we had red ammo. We picked up red ammo earlier. This is an outrage. Um, what I mean to say is I was hoping that it was the... I was hoping the red scarf and the blue scarf were, had their roles reversed, is what I mean to suggest. So I think the best possible outcome here... is to use the cheese proactively as a form of invincibility, which we just accomplished. Switch to potion of lead skin. When we lose the cheese, you got potion of lead skin backing you up. And it's just that easy. I mean, that was a very, very simple uh, boss fight there, for sure. We did get ammo. I think we'll definitely take ammo for the combined rifle. I know I've been saying this a lot, but especially once you factor in the six keys, I think this has been, like, the best run I've ever had. Uh, in terms of my own actual performance. This is insanely good. Man, I can also tell I'm feeling uh, better, because it's been 38 minutes, and I might sound a little congested. But I have not uh, sneezed coughed or had to blow my nose the whole time no joke as soon as i said that i felt a little tickled in the old sinuses oh my god what is, what are the odds it's is it are you gonna do it are you gonna make do it coward you're only gonna sneeze a man no i think it's gone that's inconvenient it makes it look like i was making it up but i swear to you it was there i felt a little sinus tickle everything gets uh it's wild, right? That, like, you know, you don't always sleep that well when you're ill. However, even if you're, like, coughing, you know, sneezing, sputtering, etc., etc. Oh, we have way of the gun. We should definitely go for it then while we got a chance. Even if you got, you know, all those symptoms, it must be losing last piece of armor. That's the only thing I can imagine here. Uh, even if you got all those symptoms, when you go to bed for like, you know, eight hours, your body's like, nah, don't sweat it, I got you. No sneezing, no coughing. I mean, I'm not going to wake you up, you, you need your rest. I, I understand, by the way, that like all of the human, well, most of the human body's responses to illness are actually designed, uh, well, designed is like definitely not the word you want to use in that context. The intention, the purpose of the way that the uh, body responds to it is to flush out the disease, you know? When you get a fever, your, your body is uh, 
heating up to, you know, try to make it inhospitable for foreign agents. Well, it seems like a bizarre way to describe that, but... You know, coughing and sneezing is, uh, I mean, uh, the result of irritation, but also, you know, an attempt to evacuate infection from the body. So I get that it's actually, like, is good for you. But simultaneously, sometimes you wish you could just talk to your body, right? And be like, hey, body, I know, like, this seems really bad. Like, you, there's no way for you to know that this is literally just the sort of illness that happens to people, like... You know, maybe once or twice a year, and actually, you know, you got no real reason to be afraid uh, for your life. But at the same time, oh my god, we didn't get hit. Hold on, hold on. We're not ready for the cheese. We gotta, we gotta change weapons, dude. You know, like if you, no, I knew it too. I was like, we're in a rough spot. Oh, it's not when we lose armor. It's just when we when we get hit, when we lose HP, I guess. Um, you wish you could just tell your body, hey, bodies, come on. You know, it's just, wait, if I end up getting, like, Lyme disease, yeah, dude, hit me up with the, the autoimmune response. I guess it's just an immune response in that case, but, um, this is, this is just a dang old common cold, but you know what I guess messes with you when you think about it. Maybe the common cold is only the common cold because of the fact that your body is adept at dealing with it in the first place, you get what I mean? Were it not for the fact that your body was adept at dealing with it, maybe the common cold would be Lyme disease. Wow. Guess you never thought about that, did you? That's why one of Canada's top 10 universities thought fit to decree me with a degree. After four years of... I don't want to say labor. <laughs> Anyway, this is a great run. I had a wonderful time on today. Oh! Does, has it always done that? I, you're going to think that I've lost it. I feel way more zoomed in than usual. Did my brain just have some... Now it looks normal. Bef what is happening here? Why when I roll... Oh, those are the boots we got. Look. Cognitive capacity is not where I'd like it to be for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. It was a great episode. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Something like a three, and a two, and a one, and a see ya!